Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel and thanks for visiting my channel. Today I'm going to explain you how to automate IBM mainframe application using terminal emulator add-in in QTP or UFT. I know this is a little bit tricky but if you understand the trick behind this believe me it's very easy to so let's start with the understanding how to use it for for that first you need to launch QTP or UFT so I have here UFT version 12.52 and this terminal emulator is already installed on uh, my machine so uh, so if it is not pre-installed on your uh, QTP or UFT then you need to reinstall um, QTP or UFT with selection of the terminal emulator so once it is available select it and click it on ok so parallelly i will open the uh, okay let me create one new gui test and parallelly i will open one session of uh, ibm personal communications so i will use the new session so here i can select the ibm communication server and i will click it on ok I'm not going to show you the uh, like the complete flow like how to automate the entire application but definitely you will get idea how to use terminal emulator add-in uh, for uh, mainframe applications so let's try to record some of the object in object repository so I will I have opened this object repository so I'm just adding trying to add one object so let's say I'm adding this completely black screen. So when I <clears throat> try to learn this object, it is saying some window, win, window and uh, win object. So basically this IBM, this is not recognizing the correct uh, window. So for that, we need to do uh, some little bit configuration. So you need to go tools options then you need to go to the GUI testing and then select the terminal emulator option so here you have the configuration for terminal emulator so you need to select the proper vendor that i am having this ibm and the emulator that i am having is ibm pcom so uh, here you can see the uh, the auto detect it will automatically detect i will just click on ok so the configuration is done so i will try to relearn the object so if i click it on um, black screen it is showing the te window so now this is correctly identified my window as a terminal emulator so i can use the inbuilt properties that are available in this add-in uh, so i will just try to remove some of the uh, <clears throat> existing properties from the screen object so this is basically the class of T screen so it means it is identifying your application correctly so if you try to highlight you will see it is highlighting the correct application window so let's start to add some code uh, I'm just adding this window here so what I can do here now I will just type uh, is first line so I will just try to write some code here then I will try to use I will just wait for some after entering my first line then I will use uh, let's say some keystrokes that is new line and again I will wait for one second and then I will write the second line second line so uh, I will just try to run the code and let's see what what is the output so okay so these are not the correct uh, method so what we
we need to see if you click on this help so you can see the different objects the help is available there send key let's say okay so i typed something wrong here so now let's try to run the script so it is writing so if you see here you can see first line and second line is written so here in qtp or uft you have so many uh methods and fun uh, functions that are used for terminal emulator if you go on that uh, if you go on uh, the t new window uh, a new line and if you click on f1 button you will go to the <clears throat> help section of this terminal emulator so you can have so many help available so using that uh, predefined methods using this help you can automate any kind of ibm mainframe application so it's very easy and uh, uh, i will say you can try uh, right now if you have access to the ibm uh, uh, mainframe application okay so uh, i hope you like uh, my video so if you like uh, just uh, uh, just like my video and you can comment if you have any questions and thanks for watching have a nice day bye bye